So I said I was going to talk about the uh, digestive issues I had on this first 200 mile leg of the Arizona Trail. So, you know, this channel's purpose is to uh, relate to people what it's really like to through hike on the trail. And I'm sure most of you don't want to hear about a 73 year old man's bowel disturbances. So I'm going to clean it up really good with a bunch of analogies. So I'm sure many of you already know from med school or a first aid class or high school science class that the body has more than one brain. You know, each individual organ has a brain, uh, all connected to the mainframe up here in the skull. And all of these brains think they're important, but really the bowel brain is the dominant brain, the kind of the alpha dog of the organ pack. You know, the, the liver might say, hey, I process and filter all the blood in the body. But the bowel will just say, uh, dismissively say, um, I have a syndrome named after me. <laughs> so you're lying there in your tent and, you know, you start hearing and feeling some gurgling and the mainframe brain is still kind of in denial saying oh you know it's nothing but the ball brain is saying you know we've got a problem here <laughs> so we've all been through this you know denial and uh the rest of the body and all the other brains are still in denial along with the mainframe uh, but the gurgling continues and you start thinking about old faithful so old faithful goes off religiously every 90 minutes but first you have to sit there and listen and feel all the gurgling before it actually puts on a show for you so even though bowel brain is saying hey we've got to go now yeah all the other organs are saying hey it's 18 degrees outside this tent there's stalactites growing on the ceiling of the tent can't you see that but the bowel brain is saying you know this this really isn't a suggestion <laughs> It's kind of like a Texas oil wildcat, or you know, they they hit a really bonanza of a well, but they cap it off, and they're afraid to uncap it because they don't know if they've got high pressure gas or black gold gusher, <laughs> and so that's kind of what your brain and your bowel brain are debating: which is it? And so the bowel brain is still saying, "We've got to move now." And then alarms start going off, uh, you know, all hands to battle stations. Already on the right, already on the left, already on the firing line, lock and load. And then you roll out of the tent just in the nick of time. Forget the boots, we haven't got time for boots and you're out there in 18 degrees, but you know, then it's not so bad. It's a still night, quiet, there's a full moon. Actually, now two full moons. <laughs> and you, uh, you know, assume the position, do your business, and climb back into your nice warm tent and take about six or eight magic pills. Yes, Pepto-Bismol tabs. Don't leave home without them. And uh, then you try and doze off to sleep, but, uh, you know, bowel brain is still right there telling you don't get too comfy there. We've got another show in 90 minutes. <laughs> and sure enough, you fall asleep. And sure enough, in 90 minutes, you're feeling a tap on the shoulder. And it's bowel brain. And he's saying, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, don't make any sudden moves, but find an exit now. And so you do this drill a couple of times. And uh, then everything goes back to normal. You wake up in the morning and you're ready for another 20-mile day. Welcome to through hiking.